Hello guys, this is Casual UK. Um, today I'm just doing a video for my sponsor, Hapag UK, about their Colossus PCI X1 uh, capture card. Basically, a lot of people have been asking for a video of how to actually set it up, and this video is going to explain how you connect the um, capture card to the motherboard, um, then connect it to your Xbox and your monitor, and then also to how to set up the software and the right settings that you need for the best capture quality. So basically we're going to head around to the back of the PC now. And as you can see, this one here is the cap card. It's quite big, big bit of kit. Um, so basically it's connected into the X1 slot of the motherboard in there. Can't see it that well, but anyone who's going to buy one will probably know what an X1 PCI slot is. And then we come around the back and it's the top one. So it's this one here, this is my HDMI in, this is the component input and output, this is the optical audio in and out, and then the infrared remote is that one there. Um, so basically how to connect it to an Xbox, I'm just going to stand up make some more room. Out of the Xbox comes a HDMI splitter, so you just plug it into the normal HDMI slot on the Xbox, and then you'll come out and you'll just have a, a, a two-way splitter from one HDMI to two HDMI. So basically you want the male to go into the Xbox and two female connectors to come out. One obviously goes to your monitor and the other one will go directly into the actual HDMI slot which is there on the cap card. So it's basically just feeding off in a direction. Um, one to the PC, one to the monitor. So basically all you need to do is, I bought my splitter on eBay for about three quid. All it is is that round to the Xbox. Nothing too major. That's that's it set up. The next thing you need to do is obviously make sure it's secure the motherboard in place before you go any further. Make sure it's locked in with the um, connection and make sure it's pushed right into the motherboard. Then basically what you've got to do is install the drivers from the CD that you get with the Colossus and it will also install the software for you. Make sure, although you're playing the HDMI, you need to make sure on your Xbox that you're tuned in to 1080i or 720p. It will not record or recognize the capture card on your PC if it's in 1080p. So do make sure it's 1080i or 720p. As soon as you've got that right, you load up the ArcSoft Showbiz app, um, application that it'll install via the CD when you do the setup. And that, you click Capture at the top of the program, it's just the tab at the top, and it will automatically bring you into the capture device um, for capturing from the capture card. Then you want to make sure it's selected on HDMI on the... Uh, the input and the audio input because obviously HDMI you can do audio and video at the same time on device settings there's not you I haven't touched anything on this so just leave that as it is and on the format settings if you at the top you got a video encoder and a HT H.264 encoder go to the video encoder and drag them both to the end so the bit rate is at the highest possible and the peak bit rate is at highest possible and then change it to constant if it's already on variable, make sure you change it to constant and then save your settings. Once you've done that, you're all set to go and start capping. That will give you the best quality possible. If anyone has any questions at all on the Colossus Capture Card or installing or installing the software, please leave a comment on this video. We will get back to you within 24 hours. Um, or any questions, you can contact me on Twitter or Hoparg on Twitter and we will always help you out. So please let me know, but thanks, hope you enjoyed the video, and I will be doing some more videos soon. Um, and also make sure you go check out Hapag's Twitter and YouTube page, not just mine. There is a link to their YouTube channel in my other channels boxes on my channel, so make sure you check them out. Thanks for watching, cheers guys, bye.